is Black Friday. We're out here at the Walmart. They have pretty good restock. I think they maybe restocked this on Wednesday, uh, but they still have a lot of cards. So it's early in the morning, around nine o'clock Friday. You can see what they have. We'll hit the Meyer up to see what they have over there a little bit later. They they were looking for Prism football, and there's no sign that there was any Prism football. They had Illusions football, but that's gone. The Mega Boxes, but they still have blasters, all kinds of blasters, and and then they have uh, some Prism uh, draft picks left. So there you go. Get, try to get a couple of shots. Hey everyone, it's Rose Collectors here. We're opening up some retail boxes and packs that you saw on our retail hunt video. Not all of them made it in the video, but um, if you saw that first part, uh, the couple clips of the store shelves, they were pretty well stocked. And this was, um, was it Black Friday that we went? Yeah, and then on Monday now too. I don't know if you include any of that footage. Oh yeah, it was my, yeah. So this past Monday, which was the 30th, and then... It was um, on Black Friday, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, or was it Wednesday? No. It was, before Thanksgiving? Eh, it could have been both, I guess. I Anyways, know. so it was right, point. right around the Thanksgiving time. Um, we'll go back through our records and double check. But it was anywhere from the Wednesday before Black Friday to uh, Monday. We talked to the MJ Holding rep, um, and she said that uh, basically MJ Holding is going to be um, restocking multiple times a week, at least twice a week. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we found some decent stuff there yesterday on Monday. Um, and no prism football yet, but I believe that's going to come out the end of the week. And she seemed to think that that was the case. Yeah. She had said something about blocks. So one, they had a, the employees were being asked to stock once on Monday through Wednesday, and then another time Friday through Sat or Thursday through Saturday. Yeah. Um, so they're being asked to, you know, stock twice. So, <coughs> right. Um, Beginning you know, and end of the week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they're being asked to stock twice, which is something they have done before, but not regularly, but it makes sense because you know, there's so much demand for this stuff and I'll just increase around Christmas time here. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting talking to her. Cause she was saying how they can't really keep up with the demand. That's pretty obvious. And yeah, it's... anyways, let's get in the break and then we'll, we'll talk as we go along here. But, um, hopefully you guys are finding a few things on the shelves. I know a lot of you on our channel have said that, um, you've been finding if, if not a lot, at least a couple things here and there that Luca's going, caveman on us here yeah sorry well, i don't know where the knife is yeah so. here's the knife see it's right here uh, i don't need it now husky All from right. the good old home depot so anyways we got we found uh absolute football uh the uh dunross uh, holiday upper deck blaster and then the cello packs of Oops. Uh, prism draft picks and so, some walgreens hangers with yeah. some yellow parallels so. so in this break we're going to open up the illusions mega box those are 45 bucks then we're going to open up one of those um walgreens hangers for fun yeah we made a separate video talking about these so if you want you know more information on them go watch that video we went a little bit more in depth than we probably will hear but it is really fun good rip lots of value yeah 45 bucks i mean the hobby boxes are well over 200 bucks i think yeah Illusions. they're like 260 yeah. i believe so maybe a little more so for a fraction of the price you can have a pretty fun rip and not break the bank jordan love oh my but you can also knock down cards off the table uh leonard fournette blue he has not done much this year at all it's a very small set if you ever want to complete a football set this would be a pretty easy one i would think to do Got a thick card in here, so this is probably the relic, I would assume. Minshew and a Mims rookie. And T. Higgins, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Instant <clears throat> impact. He's been doing pretty well. Um, even last week he had a good game considering that they don't yeah, he's, have he's Joe good. Burrow, he's a good so. receiver, yep. James Morgan and Lamar Jackson. 
I don't think Lamar Jackson's going to play in the football game. On Wednesday, I don't think he's going to be cleared. A bunch of them aren't going to be as what I heard today. Yeah, well, they have, I saw on Center today at the gym, they have 50, like the NFL rosters, it's a 50-man or 53-man, yeah, whatever it is, and they have like, they're missing 26 people, I think, from that. Yeah. But a couple people that originally got it, Dobbins and Mark Ingram. They are coming back. Are coming back, yep. so. Chase Young. So those are the indigo, indigo, right? No, no, sapphire, Emerald, sapphire, whatever. I'm, I'm just I shooting think. off names. Yeah, sapphire. Does it say that anywhere? No, but I'm Look almost sure top. that's what it is. Yep, sapphire. Yep. I think we may have the autograph in here, a little thicker card stock. So. Yeah, uh, the last two oops. autographs we got weren't anything too great, but weren't horrible either. So There's an Anthony McFarland. So we'll flip this guy around and check out what we've got. Superlatives. That's actually pretty nice. Deontay or... Uh, yeah, yeah Deontay that's a good Johnson. one. Yeah, he's, he's had a he's really, really good year. Really so well. yeah. It's not bad. Uh, kind of a weird one, but definitely we'll take it. I think there's a lot of those in here. There's a lot oh, of... Yeah. Uh, Older players, not old as in like real old, but Couple some. Year, two, three, yeah, four and then we got players. we we got that Eric Metcalf um, in our other break. So then obviously he's a much older player, retired. So all right, let's see if we can pull anything else. The one of these boxes we did pull a parallel out of. So there's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, what was it? It was numbered to what, like one fifty? I think. Yeah, one fifty. Um, and then the these cards are dark and. Lean it over here like this to actually help you to see the card better. Uh, but then they have these acetate cards in here. AJ Dillon, nice looking uh, set or part of the set, uh, the um, acetate card. So Clyde Edwards Hilaire. You get a lot, you get a decent amount of rookies in here and nice amount of veterans. I think it's a really good mix for how small the set actually is. <laughs> Here we go. There, There's a, a one. this is a yellow number to 149. Jake Fromm. I was going to say it could be his uniform number, but it's not number Close. four. There aren't too many quarterbacks with 14. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Slayton and Kirk Cousins he had a good game. And then Jalen Rieger. Seems like we pulled a million of this guy's rookie cards. Yeah, we have. Pretty right. cool. Last pack. Good rookie on the back there. He had a big game at Thanksgiving. Um, we had some of his cards listed on our eBay store, and they sold quite quickly. There That's we nice go. Rookie. Sweet. Justin Herbert. What are you talking about? Uh, Mr. Oh, sorry. That's not Antonio Gibson. That's Antonio Gandy Golden. That's what I was asking. I just saw Antonio, and I saw the <laughs> the, the Washington. Yeah, sorry to mislead you. Nice. Uh, then a CD Lamb. This is the Sapphire. He's also having a good year considering who's throwing to him. Yeah, so. he's a, yeah, he's a very talented receiver. That's awesome looking. And then Jonathan Taylor. Um, Mystique. Mystique. That is cool. All right. And then Ben Roethlisberger. And there he is. Antonio, Antonio. Gandy Golden. Sorry, I, I miss uh, Red and I thought it was Antonio Gibson. So, but that was pretty cool. We got the Herbert and the who was our relic again? Oh yeah, T Higgins. T Higgins. I couldn't remember. Yep. All right. So pretty cool. Let's open up this hanger box. You get sixty-seven cards in here. And was this ten dollars? Ten ninety-nine. So ten ninety-nine, and then you get the yellow parallels. Um, I'm not sure how many do you get. Does it say here? It just says contains exclusive yellow parallel. So. We hadn't been able to find any of these for a while until I'd say late in the summer. We found our Walgreens had a couple in stock. That was the first time we ever saw them. Um, and so the yellows are pretty sought after because they're kind of hard to find, actually. The, you know, usually Walgreens only has a couple um, packs in stock. Yeah, whenever they stock cards, because I tend to frequent Walgreens to look for stuff, and they only ever stock things in quantities of at most like two. Yeah. Maybe three. So this yeah. Had three. Well, but. once in a while you'll see more than that, but it's pretty unusual. At least in our experience. Let us know 
what you guys find. Oh, so here's a good one right here. Devin Williams. Now, it's funny. I was listing this guy's card because uh, he was the rookie of the year for the National League. And I, I put in Dean Williams in, by mistake. And I was wondering, why is nobody looking at this card? And I'm like, oh, because it's Dean Williams, not Devin. Good old computers and spell checker and all that. I'd probably actually try to switch it over or something. Once again, update has all these weird photos in it, like I don't this like one. That picture. Um, this is a cool photo of Bellinger, the All Star game from I don't know what whenever. Year I think that was last year's actually. I think in the Marlins Stadium was the last year. Oh yeah, I think it. I think it may have been. Um, Anyway, so let's see if we can pull anything out of here. Obviously, the big cards are going to be the yellow parallels, but you could also pull um, other parallels as well. You know, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all that stuff. Some of these hanger boxes are sneaky good, but for the most part, they're not all that great. So here's a gold Jose Iglesias. I mean, the issue with the product is, is if you're going to get a good parallel, there's like three people it's in the entire set that I would consider impossible. pretty good parallels, right. you know. So so we have our yellows coming up here. There's what, do you, what do you get, like two or three? It doesn't say on the box. Or one. <laughs> there's an Alex Kir Kirilov, and then a Joe Kelly. That's one of our yellows, and... So you get a few. A Sandy Leone. Used to play for the Red Sox. And then a high 10. You actually get a lot. That's cool. I actually see a Ray coming up. And an Eric. Oh, De oh, oh baby. There we go. You hit the one good <laughs> yellow you're looking for. That's probably the only one in the set. Now, we know he got in a little bit of trouble with the law, but it seems like that's been cleared up. He, charges weren't pressed against him. Um, that is Randy Rosarina, but. Like Luke said, that's a, probably the card you're looking for out of here right now. Oh, no, it, it for sure is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if there's another one. It, I don't think it holds a candle to him. So Buster Trent Posey. Grisham, maybe, but Randy sells for more than Grisham. Yeah, wow. So that is unexpected and pretty sweet. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie debut. And then before that, it was a Jesus Lazardo. Um and then Luke's making deals on eBay while we're making the video. And someone just sold. I sold a vintage coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> so not cards, but coffee not pots, cards, everybody. Coffee pot. So Luke really lives the flipping life. Not in selling cards, uh, buying them off the shelf at retail stores, not and then selling them life. for a million dollars. He goes to Goodwill, finds things for like a buck, and sells it for ten, twenty, thirty bucks on uh, eBay. So. That's his version of flipping. Pretty fun. Um, all right, so there we go, guys. Uh, pretty fun yellow I can't believe we could, you Actually, those are a really... If, yeah, one. If this was a better rookie class, these would be an insane value. Yeah, what one, do you get, two, like, three, five four, yellows, five, six, six yellows? You get six That's of them. That's really good. So it doesn't say on the package, but you get six. So that's really good. And then we got the gold, too. So, I mean, not only do you get uh, the regular ha stuff you get in a hanger, but then you get the yellows. I mean, it's like... Yeah, way more value in those. So pretty fun break. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we hit at least that Herbert out of the first uh, box of um, Illusions, and then we hit the Randy Rosarina out of the Hanger box. So let us know in the comments below how you think we did. Also, uh, have you been finding stuff in your retail stores? What are you picking up? Did you find Prism Football yet? Uh, we hope you have, and we hope that you are able to rip some. I know, obviously, right now selling like crazy, or you know, selling for crazy amounts in the secondary market. I don't know how much of it's actually being, you know, sold and purchased and ripped, but we'll see. I think the prices will go down as more of it hits the shelves, but time will tell, and uh, we'll see how the secondary market reacts to these prices for singles. Yeah, I don't know. I think the yellows are usually pretty sought after because, like I said, they only put two to three out at each Walgreens. It's not like they stock them multiple times. You get one stock usually of each product, and that's all they ever get. Um, so, you know, there's not that much of this stuff to go around. So, you know, those yellows, normally they maybe are numbered to 100 realistically. <clears throat> they maybe make 100 yeah, of them, maybe 200 at the most. But 
All right. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you're doing well. Take care and have fun collecting.